Hello, I'm Brent Wilsey. With me is Chase Wilsey. We're from Wilsey Asset Management. Welcome to today's Smart Investing Daily Briefing. Well, today we're talking about Prince, who passed away a few months ago, and his $300 million estate problem. And actually, this estate is growing because now that he's passed away, it keeps going up in value. But the problem he has, he didn't do any planning at all. And what this shows is that the IRS is going to collect from him about $120 million, about 40% of his estate. And on top of that, the state of Minnesota is going to get 16% or about $48 million. Yeah, it's just really, really scary. And it really shows that really it's not even you know people with a lot of money. Mm-hmm. It's people who have an estate. You really need to plan for your future and get an estate planner, get a good estate planner. And you know, it, it, unfortunately, it tends to be people like artists, entertainers, and athletes. But it really applies to anyone that doesn't have an estate planner. You need that for when you pass away. Right. So you don't give your money away to the IRS or the state. It's just unfortunate. And he was only, what, 57? He wasn't that old. So he thought, oh, I have time. You don't have time. Yeah, and the other thing, too, is look at this. Prince now all of a sudden <laughs> magically has seven kids. People have come out of the woodworks to try and get their piece, even if it doesn't belong to them. And uh, also, some of his estate's probably going to be going to lawyer fees and such. And it's just, it's a real mess. Make sure you have a good estate planner right. to prepare for your future. Yeah, and it doesn't take, you know, this large of a state, but again, a good example of how bad it can be. So, all right, let's talk about the coming today. The coming today is a Lululemon. Uh, the current price around 70, the high 72.54, the low 43.14. And here again, it looks like there was some good buying opportunities here. But the stock seems to be recovering. Let's look at the numbers and see what we see here. Um, again, what I like today, what brought this up was a controversy from the founder today. He was on CNBC talking with Jim Cramer, and Jim Cramer saying, well, gosh, all the others are doing terrible and so forth. They should be happy. And the CEO said, no, you've set the bar too low. What I'm looking at is our sales are up 17%. Why did the earnings fall by 1.8%? I agree with him because yeah, you got to get that money to go to the bottom line. I think I brought up some great points. I was disappointed in Jim Cramer this morning. Yeah, definitely. I mean, you can't just give your stuff away for free, yeah. pretty much. I mean, it, you, you want to see that earnings growth if you're having sales growth. I will say, though, their balance sheet, I'm in love with their balance sheet. As you can see here, current ratio, 4.8. So they have a lot of flexibility moving forward, especially with 0% wow. debt on the balance sheet. However, I was very, very disappointed <laughs> with this and kind of not surprised based on the comments from the founder. Definitely siding with him over Jim Cramer. As you can see, going out to January 2018, estimated earnings per share on a gap basis, $2.53. Can you say target sell price, $41.75. So you need to see more earnings growth here yes. to get that target sell yes. price up. I think the founder is, again, agree with you, agree with the founder and so forth. So that's what we look for in these companies. So let me ask you, if you're happy with the current return on your money, on your investments, maybe you're not getting good advice from your current financial advisor. Well, that could mean it's time for you to give us a call here at Will Asset Management. We've been managing money successfully for over 30 years now. Hey, you want to call and have a conversation with us, phone number here is 858-546-4306, or you can contact us at our website, smartinvesting2000.com.